just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my Why, because it's closer, you like it, do you? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? We went and brought our grok, and he said, you want a receipt for that? <laughs> I said, what, do we look like we're fucking going to bring him back? <laughs> Dad! Are you there, sweetie? Sweetie? Fucking don't. You didn't even get a receipt for me. I did make that mistake a lot of years yeah. ago, and now I can't take you back for a refund. No. <laughs> there has been a bit of controversy. Severe stuff too. Kimmy is debating, talking about taking it to a solicitor or a lawyer. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to snap him off, and Russ was like, nah, there's an easier way. Our alcohol was locked in the room. We did have a little panic for a couple of minutes there, didn't we? We, we, didn't... Locked, we locked the key in there, didn't we? we didn't get... Who's got a name for Kim's bride, though, huh? She doesn't know what to call it. What does she look like? Eight o'clock at night, and they got closed on the fucking knob. Here's a look at you. I thought the bird got it. Yeah, he got a big grass. People, I'm on dirt. Look at this. <laughs> God. What's down there? See this? I really don't know what this channel command is going to be like, but anyway. There is a speed hump down here, okay? That means you can speed over it? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I tend to think that's what you think. Okay, so we have rocked up at Moree, haven't we, babe? Yep. This is our hotel for the night. It is the Winchester Motel. That's it right there. 24-hour check-in. We used to have a swimming pool there last time we were here. Sausage dog. Okay, it's but cute. no more, babe, have we? No. What happened to it? Filled it in for a doggy park. <laughs> well, I think they had two, actually. Yeah. I'm not lying. So Harley is just up there to the right. KFC's up there. Another motel over the road. Maybe we should have chosen a motel over the road. Rest has to be going there later. Massage. <laughs> Massage bar, babe. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of a walk down into town. We're going to walk down and get some grog, aren't we? Sure are. Then we're just going to relax the night away. We really don't know what we're going to do for food, though. No. We have got KFC up there. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I don't know. We'll work around. Don't, don't let it stress, guys. We do know that there's a courtesy bus that goes to the club. There is, yes. And that is our Maccas there, isn't it, sweetie? Yep, that's ours. That's our Maccas. <laughs> we have been here for breakfast before, haven't we? And like I said today on the way over, we're trying not to have Maccas or anything this year, are we, sweetie? No. It's not helping, though. No, it's not at all. No. But that's the way we come in up that way, guys. This isn't a bad little area. We have stayed at this motel here before, haven't we? That's the one we stayed at. Why didn't we like that one? What? Why didn't There's we... no shade or anything there. Oh. Why, because it's closer, you like it, yeah. do you? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? We oh, stayed yeah. in around the corner. The sun, the sun killed us that day. Yeah. These are the parklands here. Is that Just our up... park? Why is it our park? I don't know, because we're in this town. Not so we're in the bay. The Mihi River. Yeah. Dr. Jeffrey Hunter Bridge. This is just at the top end of town, guys. We're coming up to Woolies and everything here in a sec. It is a Saturday today, so it's a little quiet at the moment in the bay. Mm -hmm. No rowdy people out no there. No rowdy people? No. They'll well, all get down in that park area. Well, not yet. We get out and about <laughs> in town. Yeah. We're in at Woolies at Moree buying some water and some chippies. Yes, that's right, water. Water for Kimmy. Better not show you my card. I'll show you my credit card numbers. So you showed them your head instead? Yep. God. So we've been we've been and got the grog, haven't we? That's gonna fall. <laughs> we've been <coughs> it's your boat. No, Mine's okay. on the bottom <laughs> in my arms. Heard the funniest thing ever just then? Didn't you? Yep, what I told the man in the bottle shop. What about the water? No, 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 not that. We went and brought our grog. And he said, 
You want a receipt for that? <laughs> I said, what, do we look like we're fucking going to bring him back? <laughs> do we? No, no we're not bringing him back. We're not bringing him back, are we, sweetie? We're not ask, returning. Ask him if we wanted a receipt for him, eh, sweetie? You only, take, you only get a receipt if you're going to be taking something back, innit? That's right. You didn't even get a receipt for me. <laughs> I was just about to say, oh. I did make that mistake a lot of years yeah. ago, and now I can't take you back for a refund. No. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is, guys. We're going to go back home now. We've been in town for all of 40 minutes, and we've got our grog, haven't we, babe? Yep. Um, That's so all we, we needed. It has got up to about 26 degrees. We're going to walk back up there. Over that bridge, don't we, babe? Yep. And then we're back home, aren't we? Yep, it's not that far. And then we've got to work out where we are off to tomorrow, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyway, catch you on the road, guys. Uh, can we go and up in the shower? We'll just go and have a little peek just to try and piss her off a little bit. Are you there, Kimmy? Oh, Kimmy? Are you there, sweetie? Sweetie? Fucking don't! Hey, I love you. I love you, sweetie. I love you. <laughs> you would think Kimmy would learn, wouldn't you? Hey, hey, you look like your bride going down on this week! <laughs> well, this is your fucking towel. Oh, fuck it, Yeah, yeah. Now, Rusty's been ripped, didn't he, eh? She can't lock that door, man. We could go back and visit her again, yeah? Okay, good day, Kimmy. Hi. How are ya? Hey. Good. We have rocked up in Moree tonight. Beautiful weather day, 26 degrees, isn't it? We come down from Dubbo. Can you hold them for me, please? Oh, I forgot they were on my head. We come down from Dubbo about 370, 380k, something like that. And I tell you what, beautiful roads all the way through. Cut of road works between Narrabri and here that they're doing where you slow down to 60 and 40 and that, but still really good. As for potholes and everything, pretty good, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, basically nothing. A little bit rough in a couple of places, but bloody good, wasn't mm. it? So those road people have done a good job fixing up these roads after those floods last year, because it was really, really good. Mm. Um, it's going to warm up again tomorrow. I said it was 26 here, didn't I? I think. We are at the Winchester Motel. There are the babies right there. And this is the Winchester Motel. Yes, look at them blue skies. I bet you're jealous, guys. I bet you're jealous. But this is the Winchester Motel in Moree. And this is where we're sitting. Yeah, that's where we're sitting, right there in front of the bikes, having a stubby. Like I said, I do not promote alcohol on this channel, but if there is a sponsor out there, we will we'll, we'll jump, jump on board with a cider sponsor, won't we, babe? Yes. Hey? Low carb. Low carb, preferably for young, for young Kimmy. Right, so, what else happened today? Lots of feral goats. Lots yeah. of feral goats. Had to be careful. Mm -hmm. Had to be careful. Kangaroos? No, nah, seen the signs. No kangaroos. No kangaroos. No. Camels? Mm, no camels. There has been a bit of controversy. A little bit of controversy. Severe stuff too. Now, remember I said I've seen an emu? Well, Kimmy is debating, talking about taking it to a solicitor or a lawyer, that because we've seen an emu in a zoo, it does not count as an emu. It wasn't in its natural environment. It's an emu. Doesn't matter. Guys, tell me, if you see an emu, it's an emu, isn't it, eh? It's Whether it's wild or not. She's, she's trying to change the rules of this now. If she had a scene at first, she wouldn't be changing nothing, would she? No. No. This is our room for the night. And our alcohol was locked in the room. Yeah, we, we did have a little panic for a couple of minutes there, didn't we? We, we, didn't, lock, we locked the key in there, didn't we? We didn't like, get locked out. No. The alcohol got locked in. Yeah, the, the alcohol got locked in. So this is our mode for the night. It's not too bad, is it, babe? Oh, Rusty. <laughs> Rocking it. Babe, show them the back of me t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Give me Rust Adventures. Cool. Harley. In a boat. That's it. That's ours, isn't it, sweetie? Yep. That's ours all over. Inside and you, the which bar. one have you got on? You're inside just, the bar and shield. Yes. Just, oh, you, know, you just got the plain Jane one on. You might be interested to know. Well, maybe not. Maybe yes. How did the bride doll travel? Yes. <laughs> Awfully bloody cramped, I tell you. This is her here. Look at her. She fits in there, doesn't she? 
had to bend your fucking legs down all wet, didn't we, babe? Yeah, I was but... gonna snap them off, and Russ was like, nah, there's an easier way. If Kim thinking of something, there is always an easier way, let but... me tell you. But we, I had to put a hat over her head. Yeah, she kept on crying. So she put a hat to make it look like she was in bed. Actually, come to think of it, babe, hold your doll up. She looks like an idiot. <laughs> She's still got a funny eye. Anyway, we need a name for it. Yes. Don't we? A name. Someone throw out a name for the Bride of Chucky, yeah. as Darren Sayer would call her, the Bride of Chucky. He reckons get rid of that and post it back home straight away. Do you? Yeah. See his dodgy eye there, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's got a name for Kim's bride, though, eh? Have a look, eh? What's it look like? She doesn't know what to call it. What does she look like? She's got that eye closed again, babe. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, can you open her eye? Babe, she hasn't woken up properly. Oh, it's dodgy. No, no. just leave her. Yeah, no, we'll it's fix it. the way she wants to be. We'll fix it. Anyway, that's not a boudoir for the night. The love nest in the babe. She's not sleeping there. She hey, is. her eye's opening up now. She's laying oh, down. This one closed. Oh. That one oh. opened. Yeah, no, we've got to get that fixed. We've got to get that seen to. She's She'll have to go to the optometrist, babe. So this is our rest day. This is obviously, you know, part of the bathroom. The old shit is in there. And we've got to walk in and around. Hey, look! There's our shower, guys, over the top there. Jump on board, guys, and help us name this doll of Kim Tay. What do you reckon? Yep. Have you got any ideas, babe? No. Right, the bride of Chucky? Nope. Mrs. Chucky? Nope. No? Why not? I don't know. It oh. just doesn't fit up. All right then. Hey right, guys, we'll catch you. What are you eating, Musty? It's nice. Very nice. I was fucking lucky to get it. Hmm. Or when it down there, you can't see any more room. Eight o'clock at night, and they got closed on the fucking door. Eight o'clock at night, they're supposed to close at ten o'clock. Handwritten. Handwritten on the door. Mm -hmm. We were lucky, pushed the button, and got in with the girl that ordered online. Mm. They said, oh, you're the last one. We're, you're the last one we're going to serve. 10 o'clock at night, they're supposed to close. I know. It's not like I was riding my motorbike through or a car through this the drive through. No. No. So yep. They thought they'd close the front door. I know, they were more focused on the fucking drive through. Pathetic. I wasn't happy. Pathetic. I'm gonna leave a review that the food's nice. It is actually nice, the food. But service? Bloody hell. Good morning, Darren. Shit. Ross, where are you? Where are you? Give us a look at you. I thought the bird got it. Yeah, he got a grub. He got a big grub. Okay, so we're just about to leave the Winchester Motel, aren't we, my darling? Yep. Here in Moree. No, I guess we're going to get fuel. Yep. We sure are. So uh, we walked down here yesterday. You never got to see much of it on the bike. But um, this here is the... Well, well, we're coming up to the main street. Watch that car come and you'll probably beat him. If not, you'll probably get hit by him. Okay, this is Moree at 9.30 of a Sunday morning. Not much happening, is it? Not a bad little town, though. Service all the rural area. As always, a nice little main street with tree-lined. Moree is a town which promotes itself as home of artesian water country and as Australia's artesian spa capital because since 1895 it has tapped into the hot springs of the Great Artesian Basin and promoted them as healing waters, attracting people seeking healthy spa water. Moree is a major town in the affluent Moree Plain Shire. The district is famous for its rich black soils, which, as one local witness observed, is so productive. You would put a match in the ground overnight and get a walking stick in the morning. Well, that's the main street, guys. Well, we are heading down Armadale Way today for the night, aren't we, my dear? Sure, are um, And then we'll decide where we're going after that. Who really knows? But while the weather's fine, we will ride, won't we? Yep. As you can see, it's um, 
pretty barren out this way at the moment. It will get um, a bit better later as we get towards the Anamada way and that. We do have to go through a mountain somewhere along the road, I think. A mountain? You didn't tell me that. What, you've never done one before? No. Oh, babe. Not a mountain. You're always mountain. <laughs> mountain your bike, babe. Mountain your bike. That's it. Yes. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yes. Yeah. You keep the trash for your channel. <laughs> okay. You keep the trash you talk for oh, your channel. And my, just... my channel will be quite fine, thanks. Let me just slip it in there. <laughs> Commander Adventures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, guys, we're starting to get out of the flat barren land now. And um, we're starting to head towards the mountains, aren't we, babe? Yeah, well, it's supposed to. Temperature could drop a little bit as we go this way. I think they were expecting about 19 or something in Armadale today. The road is quite good at the moment. It was a bit bumpy when we left Moree, but it's got quite good now, isn't it? Yeah. The only bumpy bit was where it was washed out with floods and that. There's no big potholes or anything, just bumpy. Yeah, where they patched it up. Yeah. Pretty good, nothing to about. Nah. This is Gravesend, guys. Graves End. Yes. I don't think there's a real lot here at um, Gravesend, is there, babe? Doesn't look like it. And we'll probably go across the top of the hill and there'll be a big Woolworths or a Coles. Oh, yeah, usually the way. But I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's 50k, so it must yep. be like. Some sort of little town. Yeah, big turnoffs here though for wheat silos by the looks of it or something there. If they still use it, I don't think they do actually by the looks of that. Usually drain these areas, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of the town was off to the right there too. We got a public school here, babe. I'm going to go to that one. Don't know. Oh, we got a pub. Oh, a little pub, yeah. Pub, post office. It's everything. Have a tub? Yep. Animals. Not a real lot more guys. Well that's grades in. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way. I was working on the ground, come a sun up to sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star. Well, working three jobs, living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me, I'm a honky-tonk To the town of Delungra, a population of 550 people in there, babe. Delungra is a small town on the Gwilda Highway, 33 kilometres from Inverall and 43 kilometres from Bingara in Inverall Shire. New South Wales. At the 2016 census, the Lungra and the surrounding area had a population of 647. The urban centre had a population of 285. In 2015, the Lungra was named Australia's lowest earning postcode by the Australian Taxation Office, with a mean taxable income of just $21,691. Welcome to Inverell, guys. We will probably try and find something to eat here, a drink. What do you reckon, babe? You there? Yeah. I reckon we'll probably try and find something to eat or drink here. Yeah, okay. And maybe even top up the tank a bit. Well, how far is um, Armadale now? Ooh, 100 and... only 126 k's. Oh, yeah. Oh, but we'd probably have enough fuel. Our yeah, mine's just over half a tank. Yeah. Yeah, it won't hurt to put some more in. I reckon she floods down through there. Big board walk down there. Yeah, it is, right. yeah. It goes all, all the way around. Yep. 
It does. Town centre straight ahead, is it? Yeah. Easy little place, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But this is the town centre, guys, of Inverell. Inverell is a charming and elegant rural service centre located on a bend in the McIntyre River in a mixed farming district known for its wheat, grapes, olive, maize, barley and oats. Since the 1870s, the area has been also known for its tin sapphires, zircons and diamonds. Apart from being commercially exploited, these minerals have made the area a popular haunt for fossickers who find topaz, quartz, silver, diamonds, as well as sapphires and tin in the surrounding countryside. Look over there, babe, you might see a cowboy. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're on the horsebacks over there. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, we're just leaving Inverell. There's some sort of museum thing there, Pioneer Village, babe. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Ooh. What's the, the one, babe? I'm the one. No, the transport museum's out here too, so. Oh, right, okay, yep. Yeah. Because it's said next to the Pioneer Museum. Oh, right, okay, yep, yeah, cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, we're just leaving Inverell. Oh, there's a heap of dirt here, babe. You're going to have I've fun. Seen. Yeah, I've seen that. That's the one that she didn't start uh, panicking. Uh, uh, I just went quiet. I just went quiet. I just went quiet, guys. I'm really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Not much you know about when you're on the road, is it, babe? Nope. It's solid as a brick shit house, sweetie. Oh, I'm going to film. I'm on, I'm on dirt. Look, people, I'm on dirt. Look at this. <laughs> God. Look down there. See this? I really don't know what this channel of command is going to be like. But anyway, we'll see. Yep. All right, so we're leaving in Braille. Now, I've said that. That's the third time I've said that. And we're heading down towards Armadale Way. Or we're, no, well, we are heading that way, but we are heading to Armadale for the night. Um, 125 k's away from Inverell. And it is, I know it is, a very nice riding uh, places down around through this way. Because we have been down around through Armadale and Urala and all those places, Tenworth and all them places. Glen Innes, we've stayed at before. And it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, I think Glen Innes is where I plastered the window with sunscreen. You, well, you would be a bitch to them, them shop fronts, wouldn't you, babe, to those yeah. poor old store owners? <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we'll catch you down the road anyway. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own. It's a beautiful world out there and Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening It's something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you go to the beautiful Armadale guys. Tree lined streets, it is a pretty place Armadale isn't it? It is. So we're not far away from where we've got to be. Only about uh, one and a half kilometres. It's a big motel complex that one, all seasons. Yeah. Obviously not up the main street of Armadale at the moment guys. Still coming into it. City centre's straight ahead, but... Yeah, we're, we're going, going around here, to... babe. Yeah. Only 300 metres away, so what's it called? The L something, isn't it? Yeah, I can't remember. L something, E something, wasn't it? Estelle Kramer on the left? Yep. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, I remember you said Yeah, it is. Good rooster straight across the road. <laughs> yeah. uh... Okay, so we're in room number 10. We have got our key, haven't we, babe? Number 10. Now, just be careful, babe. There is a speed hump down here, okay? That means you can speed over it? Yeah, well, yeah. I tend to think that's what you think. 
They're called speed humps. Just go gently. Yeah, come up and to the yeah, Just don't <laughs> fucking... You can't get over it. <laughs> yeah, I well, can get over it, but just watch out, you'll belly out. Yeah, I'm just going to walk it over. Oh, you're here? Yeah. I got stuck on it oh, for a little bit. Be further, bit, be further, be further. Just be further. Yep, that'll do, that'll do, mate. Lever in gear for God's sakes. Roll it back down there. Yeah, so this is us. Number 10. Yeah. We've got a back door. Probably really. Maybe Darren's there. Ooh, <laughs> what are our chances? <laughs> what's, our, what's in our backyard? Oh, we've got a back entrance. Oh, really? We've got a back porch. Look. Oh. Cool. Not much out here to see, but oh well. Oh, well, yeah, if I was sitting here, there'd be lots. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. Now my wheel's in motion and my